Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grampio here. I hope you're well today. I got a new video for you on a new diagnostic tool that I got from Lunge. This is 123X model. Uh, so this is one of the basic models and it's under 200 pounds, which a lot of you have requested a video like that. Um, so this tool, to start with, I will put the link in the description below if you're interested in this tool and I'll explain you the differences between the other tools. Uh, but this is the more basic version and uh, so you get the four special um, ECU obviously functions to do DTC scan, clear the focus and etc, get the live data and they are the engine one, obviously the main one, uh, you got the airbag one, you got the transmission and you also got the ABS. So like I said, they're four basically the most used ones. If you need more then obviously you need slightly different model and I'll put the link in the description below for that as well and hopefully I'll cover some videos on the other models in the future as well for you. Uh, the other thing it comes with is three special functions, which are really handy as well. Uh, so you've got the main one, which everyone uses, is the oil reset or service reset. So you have got that on here, which is, like I said, really good. And having the lifetime updates, you can always update to the most recent cars as well to have that feature. Um, then you have got the throttle body reset, which is something that I'm going to be showing you today on my Audi Q3. Uh, so I've cleaned the throttle body on here, and after cleaning them or replacing them, you do need on them probably most of the new cars reset it to get about like RPM, idle and performance of the vehicle. And the other thing um, it has got on here as well is the steering angle reset, which is a really handy feature as well uh, when you've been doing some work and or if you're having the full code that your steering is not straight or etc, you can zero it. Uh, so again, really handy feature. And like I said, I'll display one of them and I'm also going to show you how to look up the DTCs. Obviously, what live data you can get out of here, um, the technical support part of it, and obviously how I set it up. I'll do the opening, obviously, unboxing of it as well. And like I said, link for this tool and for other tools they can get from launch in case you need something more advanced. It's going to be in the description below. So please check it out. And yeah, if that is something you're interested in, let's get started and I'll show you now the unpacking. So this is just a quick unpacking. Um, obviously, it comes in the box delivered. I got it from Amazon. Uh, one of the great features already, um, I don't know if it's just me or not, but having the case is really handy for me. You can just chuck it in the boot of your car and, or in the workshop and it's not getting scratched or damaged. Uh, so you got the case, uh, so you got all the manuals, user manual, etc. Have a good look into that uh, so you know how to use all the features and obviously discover all the functions. And you got the tool here. It comes with a protective uh, screen on there. And then in the case, you also got obviously the humidity packs. Okay, not gonna need that. Obviously the connector, the OBD connector, and the charger cable. The only thing you haven't got is the plug to charge it, but I think most of you already got a phone charger or etc., or even sockets, USB sockets to charge it up. So that just goes on the back of the tool there for the charging. And obviously the plug for the OBD just connects in there and you screw it in and off you go. There's only one button at the top there to power it on. And this is pretty much it. That's all you get in the box. And to be honest, that's all you're going to need anyway. So once you turn it on for the first time, uh, this is not the screen that you're going to get. Uh, you'll come up like when you turn on the phone for the first time, you have to select the language, the zone you live in, uh, set the time, connect to the Wi-Fi. If you haven't connected to the Wi-Fi, you can always go to the main screen here and go to the settings and you got the network there. Obviously you have got settings, uh, units of measurement, you can change there. Um, you got display brightness, sound, time zone, workshop information where you can set up your workshop when you're sending uh, the email with DTC reports and etc. Um, so there's some good settings on there. And th this is the main screen obviously you'll get. Uh, so once you connect it to Wi-Fi, do all the updates. Uh, I already have got some new updates on, on it already. Uh, so all you have to do, obviously, select all of them. If you want to update everything, just select all and press update. And it will obviously start updating and installing all the latest software. And like I said, it's free, which is brilliant. So this is once we're connected to the car. I'm going to show you diagnostic. You've got auto detect there. That search for your VIN automatically, which is great. Or you've got all the choice of the vehicles there that you can work on, which pretty much covers everything. Oh, but the quick connection. Uh, this is the special functions that you got there. So the three main ones that I told you about, the oil reset, service reset, 
SAS reset and the throttle body reset as well. So we're going to do the throttle body reset later just to show you how it works. Battery voltage test, which is brilliant. You can start the car up. Obviously, once you're plugged into it, you see the voltage going up and down if the alternator is working or not. So nice quick check with the graph. You can look up the DTC codes uh, using DTC library, which is handy. But when you got the full code, it takes you to the internet anyway, um, to the Explorer. Uh, you got diagnostic records. So this is where you're going to save all your records when you diagnose the vehicle, all the full codes that you can again send to the customer uh, via email. Um, there's the reports there as well. Uh, so the feedback and firmware fix in case you have an issue with your tool, some bugs, it will be on there and you can obviously update it and fix it. So it's not an issue. And like I said, Launch has got a very good customer support, uh, which is brilliant. So obviously to connect to the car, you just need to put the cable in there, screw it in for the safer connection. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention while we're here is obviously the tool comes with the internal battery, which is actually quite good. Uh, not all the tools work without being connected to the car. Uh, this is really handy if you want to look up, obviously, uh, your scan report at home and send it to the customer. Or if you just want to update it at home on your internet, if it's better. So guys, I got the ignition on my vehicle. I'm just going to plug it in quickly to the OBD socket. You should get a red light. Uh, yep, there you go. So the right light is on. It's going to automatically start looking for the vehicle. As you can see, the battery is charging as well, so it's all good. And there you go, I already found my vehicle, 2014 Audi. So just click OK. You gotta load the session on it. So does all the communication, checking all the systems. And it should generate your health report straight away. Um, so there you go, it's already doing it. Like I said, you only got four systems on this tool. Uh, so you got the engine electronics, the brake. There you go, that's already a report sorted. So you can print that off or send it via email. Uh, so there you go, you got all the four uh, systems that's been checked and there's no issues there at all. Just going to hold the tool a bit closer so you can see. So you can go into it and it shows you if there's any fault codes, you obviously show you the fault code that explains it. Um, so you can share it. Once you set up the workshop and your email, you will be able to send the email obviously to the customer or etc. And just name it, put the message in there and just press send. And it, obviously once you connect it to Wi-Fi, it will send it. Uh, so going back. If you have got any fault codes, you can look into them here and just enter it, uh, that system, and it will show you the fault code. So you'll read DTC, but obviously we haven't got any. Um, you can clear the fault code, you can get the live data here as well. Uh, so you can select what you want. So I'm just gonna, you, there's 464 items they can select, and obviously you can look, look into all of them once the car is running or obviously stop you can look into live data uh, to see what's going on obviously the values will be changing when it's running uh, you can check your injectors like that as well there's plenty of stuff to go through dpf and etc depending on your vehicle what obviously features you got on, on your vehicle uh, so the compression test as well on there obviously there's plenty of stuff the cooling temperature air temperature there's the injector one, so you can check the injector values on there when the vehicle is running as well. Really handy stuff, guys. And obviously, clear DTCs if you want. But if you've got quite a few DTCs, I would suggest, obviously, to save the report first. And then you can clear the code on there, and it will clear everything straight away, all of your four modules on there. And obviously, you can go into any of them, brakes, electronics, airbags, and see the data, the live data on there. So you're just going to go back for now. And like I said, once you looked it up, you can go to data and it should have your diagnostic report on there with date and time. So like I said, if you uh, want to send it now to the customer or save it, it's on there. So let's just go back and I'm going to show you how to do the throttle body re reset. So there's the, in case obviously this is not going to work, you might need an update. And this is why I'm saying it will be handy if you connect it to the Wi-Fi, because in that case, you can update it straight away. Uh, so there you go. We're going to choose Audi. Switch the ignition on. It is on. Uh, so it's the VIN, obviously. It's showing that it's connected to the car. And there you go. So just need to do the update now, because there's already a new version of it. So I'm going to wait for that quickly, do the update, and then come back to you. I think I should have just kept it going because the update only took about 10 seconds. Um, so that's all done now. 
So it just shows you what's supposed to be happening with your vehicle, obviously ignition on, engine off, uh, system voltage at least 11.5 volts, no fault codes, which you haven't got any. So don't touch the accelerator pedal, um, current temperature 10 degrees. Um, so yeah, just check, make sure everything's how it's supposed to be. And at this stage, no fault codes. Now focus on the memory of the engine control unit, then the throttle valve will be adapted to the engine control unit. So just go to type 4. Obviously it will be different different car. So there you go, it's running at the moment. I just heard the throttle body moving. Yeah, there was another click on the throttle body. There you go, it just clicked again, and as you can see, it finished correctly. So it's perfect. That's as easy as that to do your throttle body reset. If you want to do the oil reset, it's on there as well. So obviously in this case, I will have to update the tool as well. Like I said, this probably will be quick as uh, while we're here. I uh, wasn't expecting it to be that quick. So if you go into Audi, ignition is on. As you can see, it picked up the VIN number again. And there you got, you got the auto reset, the manual reset, obviously it depends if you want to change the mileage, when the next warning is going to come on, or just do the auto reset for the check. And that's pretty much it for the auto reset as well. So I've started up the vehicle for you now, just obviously to show you a bit of live data and show you obviously the battery voltage now. As you can see, the line is on 14.2, 14.5 and etc. Obviously as it's running, that means the alternator is performing as it should. So let me just go back and go to diagnose again um, so i'm just going to exit the current diagnostics and you go to auto detect um, so it should detect it real quick anyway to be honest uh for the tool for the price obviously being a basic one this tool is actually really quick i was surprised with it uh, so it's just going to connect to it again Just start a new session, so they'll generate another report now, but obviously that doesn't matter at this stage. So obviously we've got no four codes again. So I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna go to engine electronics and uh, show you, uh, for example, the injectors. I wanna try and do that uh, on the live data because obviously uh, this is just a quick tip for you in case you're buying a vehicle or if you work in a vehicle you want to check that the injectors are all working fine uh, because if the value is out at least you'll know if you're buying a car that there might be an issue with the injector soon or just to check why the car is not running properly so like i said 464 things to go through uh, eventually we will by the way you can go to the EGR there as well you can see if the EGR is opening and closing properly uh, but yeah, let me just see if I can find the injectors on here. This might take a while, I do apologize. And the fuel pressure as well, when the car might not be starting, you can check that. Um, the fuel pressure you should have and fuel pressure is getting. Um, right, so that should be the one, the injectors there. Well, pressure calibration. There you go. So press OK. And it will come up with everything and as you can see so on the stroke we got there all the live data that we need uh, that is actually quite good injector values as you can see 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 that's brilliant to be honest uh, you can also change it to the graph if you want just to have a better look at it but that is really good value i mean you can have up to plus or minus three on them um, obviously once it gets to that value around three that means the injectors are not doing very well at all anymore um, so like i said this is with just a quick live data to show you uh, what you can do with this tool and how you can save yourself some money or help you diagnose any of the car problems if you want any more handy stuff like that please comment below guys and i'll try and help you with some videos as well if you're having some issues right so before i leave that this injector Part here I just want to tell you that when you're driving or etc if you have got something occurring when you're driving you can also do obviously record and you'll start recording uh, so obviously you can pay attention to driving and not doing anything illegal and it will record 
and you'll see all the live data changing obviously if you've got a photo comb and you're doing 40 miles an hour you can uh, record it on here and then uh, check the live data again um, once it's stopped and see what the issue is if you're not getting enough fuel or etc so just stop it and it obviously name it whatever you want and save it and then later on you can go and check it on the recorded stuff and you can also generate a report uh, they're going to save they can check later on um, like i say in the data so there's a the diagnostic report we generated so press ok select the ones you want obviously and there you go so just press play and as you can see they're going to be oh sorry i apologize should change the check take that one let me go back to it press ok play as you can see they're all going to be changing slightly obviously when you're driving they're going to change a lot more uh, so just slight changes and like i said um you're not doing anything illegal you're sitting at home having tea and checking your live data um checking if there's any issues or you can find any problem there once you reach 40 miles an hour etc so another handy feature to have on your diagnostic tool right guys so this is it obviously i hope you enjoyed the demonstration of this tool um, really handy tool like i said for the price especially you got so much stuff on there and if you're really looking into it it'll help you fix a lot of problems in your cars uh, like like i said he obviously being more basic you haven't got all the issues in there but got the four main ones are like i said in probably 80 percent of the jobs that i get uh, that will be enough for them to be honest and the live data is quick enough uh, so like i showed you the injector value etc uh, it is really handy and when you know what you're looking for it does help as well and i think the live data recording as well uh, is handy for when you're driving so you just put it on the seat there set off start recording and then you can check it later or send it to the customer as well when you're trying to explain some fault uh, but yeah like i said link in the description below for the tool if you enjoyed it um decent tool for me personally i think the case as well i forgot to mention is really good obviously it'll be really hard to break it even if you drop it to be honest um so yeah so far really happy with the tool i will be using it more if you got any more questions or you want help fixing your car using this tool please comment below and i'll try and help you as soon as i can and yeah i'll try and get hold of the other models in case you obviously workshop or you need a bit more professional stuff i'll try and get a hold of that as well and do your video on that to explain you the difference what extra features you get and etc um, but yeah don't forget obviously to subscribe to the channel give us a comment like the video and i'll see you soon bye